Mayor London Breed is back from her trip to China and making a visible push to fight for her job. She's in the middle of a tough re-election fight with several high-profile challengers campaigning on promises of big change, each touting their own solutions to the city's problems from crime to housing crisis. The candidates have made it a strategy of getting out into the city's neighborhoods to hear from voters directly. Wilson Walker went along with Mayor Breed as she walked San Bruno Avenue in the Portola District. Oh my goodness, you, Leon, you got my grandmothers out here in the cold. In a blustery afternoon wind, Mayor London Breed hit San Bruno Avenue going door to door along a business corridor with a large Chinese population in a sure sign that the campaign and hand to hand politics are well underway. Accompanied by the woman she calls her Asian grandmother, Breed led a team of supporters up and down this street for some voter outreach. <laughs> her other job was never far away. Um, I was asking uh, the mayor um, if she's going to be fixing the potholes on Mission Street here in San Francisco. Um, I, we do a lot of low riding there, and um, our cars are getting messed up. You said low rider, I'm up to Roberta. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. And my hope is that by being out here, I can answer questions. Yeah. I can deal with people's uh, issues and concerns. I mean, even a speed bump that still hasn't happened. Beyond the job of being mayor, Breed must also convince residents that things are getting better in San Francisco, something you do here in the city quite a bit. However, do you feel enough people feel that way and will ultimately, in a couple months, decide to give you credit? Well, my hope is to get credit for it. And like today out here in San Bruno, uh, I am talking to people about the various programs that we provide from the city. People um, are realizing that it is attributed to the work that I am doing as mayor. So the posters went up along San Bruno, in some cases right alongside those of an opponent, a reminder that this is a complicated race for the mayor as voters have options. Look, it's hard to have a conversation about the race with anyone in the city and they don't mention ranked choice voting. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts are it's important for me to run my race and to talk about all the things that I have done. And the fact is, and, and, and just to talk about safety, crime is down lower than it's been in 10 years, not including the pandemic. And even in 2024, it's continuing to trend down. So we are seeing the difference, but we also have to make sure people feel the difference. So when you hear people say it's getting better, they're starting to feel it, but we want them to feel it more consistently. And I think that's going to be a determining factor when folks go to the polls, you know, whether or not they see the consistency and we have plenty of time to get there. Now, the mayor had made one neighborhood walkabout since her return from China, and that was in Chinatown. Probably gives you a pretty good idea of how the mayor's campaign team sees this race taking shape with just over 190 days to go until Election Day.